Hello, it's Andy from Keyword Insights, and in this video I'll be showing you how to use our keyword discovery feature to carry out your keyword research. Once you've logged into the Keywords Insights dashboard, head over to Keyword Discovery in the left panel here, and you'll be presented with some options like this. To be honest, it's pretty similar to what you'd expect out of a keyword research tool. You can either enter in your seed keyword, and we'll go away and find all similar keywords, enter a domain, and we'll try and pull all the keywords related to that domain, or enter a URL prefix, and we'll try and find all the keywords just that that prefix ranks for. So, for example, if you just wanted to pull all the keywords that one of your competitors' blog might rank for, you would have www.example.com uh, slash blog, and we'll just go and find them. For the purpose of this demo, we'll just start with a keyword. We'll type in clothes, clothes, and put the search engine is United Kingdom, and we'll go away and search. But a click search will take a few seconds, and we'll go and find as many keywords as we can to do with that seed keyword. After a few seconds, I can get the overview of my keyword, which is the search volume, the cost per click, the competition. I can see how the search results look, just so I can get an eyeball on it and you know notice what the features are. I can toggle it and have a more user-friendly version that I can easily send to a client. Um, I get the category that my core keyword belongs into. I get another all I can view all the other keywords that we've gone and found, which I'll go into in a second. And we get the Google Trends here, which we can go and explore if we needed to. If I click view all here, or I can come up here and view all the keywords here, these, these are the 5,000 other related keywords we found to do with this term. Now we can actually find more than 5,000. Uh, and if we do, you'll see a little button down here where for one more search, we get another 5,000. If we find less than 5,000, it's just because that's how many we're in our database. So once you're here, you've got all your filters that you normally would have with other keyword research tools. So you can filter your keywords by you know, monthly searches, cost per click, competition, um, and you can include and exclude keywords. And this is where we like to have been a little bit different, a little bit clever. If you're like me, I used to spend ages excluding and including keywords to get the exact list I wanted. So let's say, for example, in this data set here, which is to do with clothes, there's going to be loads to do with colors. There's going to be, um, you know, there's going to be ones that have, you know, red and black and stuff in. Let's just have a look. Yeah, so there's red. I mean, that's not quite what we were after. But if I use another example, pink, let's go for. Yeah, so there's, you know, there's, there's, there's colors in this data set anyway. Um, what we wanted to do was be clever. So we've given you an AI smart filter here. And it just stops you having to exclude and include loads of keywords. So let's say, for example, you wanted all the branded keywords out. You could type, please exclude any of the branded keywords. Let's say you wanted all the keywords to do with just numbers. We can say, show me in the keywords with numbers in. I'll show you how that looks now. So as you can see, I've added the filter using the AI smart filter, only show the words that describe a color and it's gone and just done all the clothes with colors in. And I haven't needed to include or exclude loads of different you know, variations, which has saved me a lot of time. From here, I can save the keywords that I want. So there's four in this set that contain a color and I could give it a, a like I can save it as a, uh, like a, a filter, I guess. So if I save this and call it colored keywords, this is just my subset of keywords with a list, uh, with a, you know, with a color filter applied to it. The reason that's really handy, let me just go back out and take that filter off. If I take that filter out, uh, I can obviously cluster straight from this screen. So I can click all of this and head straight to cluster. Or maybe I want to combine my research, my keyword research with uh, some keyword research taken from another tool. So by using my filters and just getting the subset that I want, I can then head to my keyword clustering module a little later. Cool, so I've filled out my clustering project. And now when I go to upload, I can upload my files from other keyword research tools. Um, let's get it from, this is my keyword research from SEMrush. And I'm gonna add my keyword research from Keyword Discovery, which is here. And I need to map my columns for keyword uh, for SEMrush. And then within my clothing one, I'm only gonna choose my colored keywords. So I can just select the keywords that I 
I filtered from earlier, which is really useful. Of course, as I did say, you can filter straight from, uh, you can cluster straight from this screen as well. I will caveat this better is, uh, th this, this feature is still in beta and you may get very different results from set to set. We're working on stabilizing it and making it a lot more useful. And we are bringing in new keyword sources at the top of here. So you'll have your Quora, your Reddit, your other questions all coming up here soon just to add to that. So that's how to use keyword discovery. Uh, let us know if you've got any questions. Thank you very much for watching.